That forum concluded with a communique of 18 very important recommendations. And among those recommendations were the following. Firstly, that to ensure the sustainability of the single spine pay policy, expenditure on personal emoluments should be subject to the overall budgetary constraints of government. This requires that government and organized labor should meet periodically to review the single spine pay policy and its implications for the short, medium, and long-term conditions of government's finances. Secondly, that there is a need to remove wastage and seepage in public pay administration, including having a human capital database linked to the payroll as a way of ensuring that all ghost names are permanently removed from the system. And as I announced on May Day, we are about to embark on a vigorous exercise to discover and remove ghost names and to severely sanction any persons responsible for the insertion of such names. Thirdly, that pay should be linked to work and productivity in the public sector based on target setting and performance. 